Hey YouTube, Cal here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the iPad 2 version 4.3.3. So this is the only jailbreak for the iPad 2 so far, and your the version of your iPad 2 has to be 4.3.3. It will not work if you if it's not that version. This is by far the easiest jailbreak, so even if you're not very good with your iDevice, you can still do it. It's very, very simple. One of the simplest jailbreaks so far. So, yep, let's get into it. So, first, you don't even need your computer. It's just your iDevice, your iPad 2. So, first, open up Safari. I already have the page loaded here. But, go into Google <coughs> and type in Jailbreak Me. And then search for it and click the first um, search, op search option, which is Jailbreak Me 3.0. And click it. And then it will load this page. If your device isn't version 4.3.3, it'll say in red right here that it isn't, and then you have to update it on your computer. Um, also, by the way, I'm going to be showing you how to um, kind of make your way around Cydia, how to download stuff, what the best things to download are, what are tweaks, what are how to download themes, what the best themes are, stuff like that. So yeah, so basically it's very simple. It, there's a Cydia icon right here. That's what it looks like, and it says Cydia. And then you just type free and install. And then it'll basically just install like an app right here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, really nothing else that you have to do. So it'll install, and there it is. So go ahead and open it up. And it'll say, who are you? And you're gonna wanna type user and then click done. All right, so this is this is what it'll look like. This is the home page of Cydia. So this is um uh, so yeah. So themes are right here. You can look at featured or themes. These are two buttons you can use a lot. If you click themes here, there's another place you can look for more themes, but this is where you can find one specific for your device. Like if you want Retina themes, um, iPhone 4, you would tap that or iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, or iPad, which is what we're on. So we would click iPad, and then <clears throat> and then download it. So yeah, uh, this that's one way to do it. And the, another way is to go into Sections down here, and you'll see you'll have all these sections here, all packages. Don't, don't ever click that. There's so many packages, you'll never find your way around. So the main ones that you're going to be looking around are <clears throat> maybe... Uh, Ringtones, you might want ringtones. You basically just look through here. Um, but here are themes. So you tap themes, and as you can see, there are thousands of different types of themes. They basically, like, never end. <laughs> There's just so many of them. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to find. It's kind of hard to find ones for iPad, for the iPad, iPad themes. So might you, what you might want to do is go down here to search, and you can search for specific themes and one you one you can do I think it'll pop up is you tap iPad and then as soon as you type iPad it'll say all these different all this different stuff so iPad complete iPad dock um, there's a bunch of them so we'll try this one iPad OS X theme okay so let's say we wanted to oh yeah so if you want to view what it looks like before you down install it you scroll down here until you find more info or screenshots. It'll usually say screenshots, but if it doesn't, then you click more info. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and install it. So click back. And then go up to the top right hand corner. It'll say install. And then it will say install all this stuff. And then click confirm. And then it will install the package, and a bunch of scrolling text will pop up, and it'll also show the bar down here on how how long it'll take to install it. And then it will either say down here, a button will pop up that says Reboot Device, Restart Springboard, or just Return to Cydia. You usually just want the Return to Cydia ones, but Reboot Device, it's not that big of a deal. It'll just, you just have to reboot your device, it'll shut it off. And then you just turn it, simply turn it back on. So it's not that big of a deal, but the Return to City ones are the most ones. 
So when you get the return to Cydia button, that'll be most likely when you're downloading themes. Tweaks, which are like kind of make your iPad better, like it's more technical, like system stuff instead of um, what the look of it is. That'll be when you do the, uh, when you restart it. All right, so I have a problem with the volume, so the button's pushed in the way, so it's constantly turning up, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so then what you want to do is to use that theme. Once you download it in a theme, it'll automatically install this app, but this is the app, so don't be afraid. It's called Winterboard, and this is where you choose what theme you currently want. So if you have multiple themes downloaded, you can choose which one you want to have. So click Winterboard, and then click Select Themes, and then it'll show you all the themes that you've downloaded. You can check any of these. These are the ones that come pre-installed, and then you see at the top there is the one that we've just installed. So you can do User Wallpaper, Transparent Dock, all this stuff. So check the ones you want. I'm going to check those two. Uh, not that one. And then, whoops, and then just you can simply hit the home button on your iPad to exit out and then it will do kind of a restart springboard. This is what it, all the restart springboard will do. It's not a complete reboot. It's just kind of restarting springboard. As you can see, it has now changed the icons. See videos are there, YouTube, iTunes is the actual iTunes for the Mac. And then down here we have iPod, Photos, Mail, and Safari. You can't really see it because the the glare from the iPad, but that's okay. So that's just one theme. It doesn't do it's not too great. Um oh it does change some other things here. It changes Cydia, changes Google Earth, iBooks, Skype. Pretty much it. So yeah. Um so now I'm gonna show you um, what tweaks are. Tweaks are probably my favorite thing, so go into sections. They're definitely the most useful. Exit out of the, th go back out of the themes and just scroll all the way down and you'll find tweaks right here. And tweaks are pretty awesome. Basically they let you add, um, actually system, st system stuff to your iPad. So you see down here we've got enemy battery, so app size, <coughs> find the size and installation date of any app, by holding the home button. Um, there's all this great stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, so the things with uh, the things that are in black lettering are free. The things that are in blue lettering are uh, they cost money. So that's kind of annoying, but there are sources, which I will tell you about in a second, that let you get some of those paid stuff for free from Cydia. Um, so yeah, those are, I'm just looking for a good one here. Um, can't really find one, but that's okay. So, let's go. I'll show you about sources. So, down here, there's actually a button on the iPad. If you're not on the iPad, then sources will be in manage. But, anyway, click sources. And these are all your sources where you get, um, <coughs> this is where you're all the, you're all, how you install the packages. And to add a source, fairly simple. You just go up here to edit, and then over here to add. And then you type in the URL for the source that you want to do. So a great source that you should do that gets you free stuff from Cydia is Sinful iPhone Repo. So Sinful iPhone Repo. Let's see if I spelled that right. So Sinful iPhone Repo dot com. And then click Add Source. It'll verify the URL, and then it will update the source. And now, what you can do is, once it's done installing the package, you will see all the all. You can install a bunch of new stuff once you've installed this package for free. They're all in the App Store, but or the they're on Cydia. But see, this is the Return to Cydia button. But, so now, um, whatever, so click done here, and so now as you can see, there will be a source called Sinful iPhone Repo right there, and basically all this stuff, see this is cracked after it, this is all, these are all paid apps from Cydia for free, um, a great one you want, you could do is Barrel, those are, that's a good one, um, just scroll through here, they're all really great, Pop-Up Blocker, 
you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. So that's a great source that you want to do, and that's pretty much how you get your way around Cydia. It's basically kind of like the App Store, but for jailbreak. And if you want to know how to get free apps from the App Store, for every f app from the App Store for free, check them out my channel. I have a video on how to get Instalis for free, and that's the app that you use. So check that video out if you want free apps from the App Store. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.